Hello, Billy. This is back from our wave, and today is Sunday, the 29th. Uh, but uh, tomorrow, we're going to see this tomorrow, so the 30th. Uh, but it's an asterisk, so it's going to be the same. So, um, what are we going to do today? Uh, well, bit, pretty much the same thing. Um, it, we're going to try mainly. Uh, we're, today, we're going to focus on uh, investigate what is going on here um, as we have more information, which equals data than uh, last week we can see what uh, try to take a, a better educated guess on what is happening now as usual uh, the hypothesis are we have a wave 4 in place here we are within a cycle wave 5 and the question is are we actually near the end of cycle wave 5 which is what I am not going for or are we either near the end of um, wave 1, so wave 1 is not completed, 105, primary 105, or else, as you can see here, we have a wave 1 and 2 primary degree of cycle 5 in place, and we are headed to the moon. Now, uh, let me see if I also have, yeah, I, sh I have it. Okay, so, as I mentioned, okay, so let's do this. So, if we look at the scenario where we are still, so 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, we are in wave four. Then at this point, uh, it opens, as you can see, right here. And again, um, I know the video, the, the video quality is, the ratio is a bit different. Um, I forgot uh, my, because I just moved, I forgot the cable to my monitor. So be patient, uh, in a week or two time, it's gonna be um, back to normal. My apologies for that. So, down A, up in B, down in C. Is this possible? Yes. So, I covered Bitcoin yesterday, which if you watching this Monday, it's going to be Saturday. And on Bitcoin, basically, um, let's see, without wasting too much time on it. With Bitcoin, I, I, I have two accounts. You can go watch a video. Uh, not that I would uh, benefit from it at all uh, with your views. Absolutely not. Um, so, as you can see here, I have either an ABC down or I have basically a bottom in place yes here a one two so with an ASIC as you know the NASA Bitcoin tend to be pretty correlated um, pretty much I'm seeing the same thing either down up down and uh, we hit 61.8 we almost filled the gap here. The gap will be filled here, the opening gap. And we are bouncing around 20,000, which as you know, 20,000 is a area to look out for. You know that. Uh, you, If you've been following the channel, you know when we were in the 18s that I said, look, I would expect 20,000 to, to be reached and then I would expect something happening at 20,000. And we did. Can go watch um, older videos. Now, another thing is that I do have a problem. I mean, I have many problems in my life, but <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm literally tapping on my shoulder right now because uh, no one serious to do that. Um, seriously, uh, I was serious. God, I gotta stop. Sorry, guys. So the main problem I have with this is that I see this as a freeway move. A, B, C, and I talked about it previously. Uh, I struggle to count this as a five wave move because it just looks up, down, up. I I just I just struggle to see it as a five wave move, and that actually says a lot. Oh wait, okay. And that actually, you know, supports my my count. Now, is wave being placed? Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Could be. You could. Oh, uh, maybe a bit more upside. It's possible. Uh, but nevertheless, I would. Uh, yeah, because if you've got one, two. Let's investigate together. One, two, three, four. Unless you place four here, but. I like four here better. Then you have a one, two, or as one, two here. 
Oh no, you can say one, two here. One, two, one, two, blah, blah, blah. So could even enter some sort of a diagonal here. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, we, we may be due a bit more upside. I'm not discounting that. Uh, but uh, I mean, I just uh, the problem I have is this as of through with MOOC, which which could be solved. So that's let's say the most bearish scenario you have, where we are added one more uh, towards one more low, and uh, in a psychological way, if you if you will, that is like we know there's good news from the interest point of view so soft landing seems to be on the way the market are pricing that so in a psychological way it would be the crash before the <laughs> it would be the storm before the calm actually um panic but actually the macros are good fundamentals are good they're in favor of upside boom possible we'll see and clearly maybe not so clearly okay so this goes in uh, okay i gotta make sure that it shows on the hourly this goes in here and let's get back to, oh n yeah so the other alternate would be that yes wave four is in, in um in in place and oh, i need to so I s okay let's do this basically this a b c that would be minor um, so you have picture wave three here four same as before same count as before and uh, yes let's make these gray gray like my life no sorry guys gotta stop it are you guys gonna get worried uh, nah you won't um, so three down and here it plays out because you have three up remember how I was uh, a fan of a three ways up into that wave B could you count five ways down yeah you could squeeze it I guess uh, one two you could one one two three one two three yeah you could some way you could you can always squeeze it let's be honest you can always be a bit you know, I can always um, cheat a bit. Um, and this would support this count for Bitcoin, where I said we could be near a wave one of three down up wave one down up possible. So that's basically what's what's up um, okay let's delete this and um, okay let's delete this now okay the alternate is this a bit more bearish uh, sorry bullish and same direction as the one I just showed here I tried to squeeze five waves which I'm, as I said, I'm not a fan of. Nevertheless, possible. Um, and then upside to infinity and beyond. Uh, now, you may ask, Barrett, but which one is it? Well, which one is it? I don't know. If you ask me which one I prefer, uh, it's a good question. So, be, because the way you look in the S&P, I would, because uh, the S&P is at all time high, if I'm not mistaken, we'll cover that. Yeah, it's an all time high. So with the way things look on the S&P, I would go for either this, a bit too much. So I would, I would genuinely go for uh, not this one, but the one, the one that I don't have. So basically, a wave four in here, 
one, two, within wave five. This would be my best guess. There is, um, I mean, can you put wave four in here? Well, you could, then you have a problem again. I, I like this as through and move. So I'd rather put it here, one, two. The way things look, this seems plausible. Same as Bitcoin for uh, 65K. What I would want to see is upside, pullback, up, um, let's say on paper, a nice three with move, which hardly happens. And then find look for support on top of 20,000 and then uh, take to the sky. So that's my that's my take on it. Um, those are the counts I see possible. The way things are, I prefer the one that uh, <laughs> it's not a label. I'm going to put it. Um, sorry, guys. Um, so wait for in here. Three. And uh, yeah, we could be we could be could be moving higher. So as usual, thanks for watching. Uh, I would highly appreciate it if you guys subscribe and leave a like. And any questions, let me know in the comments. Start with Discord if you have further questions. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.